evacuation orders just issued for U.S. families after Trump learns what 10K is about to do, World War III is here. The threat that World War III was coming increased from talk to becoming a reality in our very near future after a shocking turn of events over the weekend that North Korea's despot dictator Kim Jong-un can't and won't recover from. Now, with the start of the new week, we're officially on the dawn of what we've been warned that's coming and is officially here, as U.S. families are being forced to evacuate. Kim Jong wanted a war and wasn't going to stop until he got one and now he must accept the fact that he doesn't stand a chance against the greatest military in the world. National Security Advisor Herbert McMaster has maintained that this threat reached a critical level after increasing day by day until it got to this point, the Daily Star reported. Just last week the Kim regime fired an intercontinental ballistic missile that flew over 1,000 feet higher than their previous launch that took place in July. These missile launches have been occurring for months now without any permission from the international community, proving to be provocations of a war they were asking for. Yesterday, we reported what McMaster had to say about World War III and now we're seeing just how serious he was in his statement. We're in a race to be able to solve this problem. There are ways to address this problem short of armed conflict, but it is a race because he's getting closer and closer and there's not much time left. The greatest immediate threat to the U.S. and to the world is the threat posed by the rogue regime in the North and its efforts to develop a long-range nuclear capability. So, it's immensely important that we work together with all of our allies partners, everyone internationally, to convince Kim that the continued pursuit of these capabilities is a dead end for him and his regime. Hours after making this statement, evacuation orders were given to American families on military bases in South Korea, saying that they should leave because war between America and Pyongyang is getting close, a senior U.S. Senator and ex-Air Force Colonel said. Express Reports Republican Senator Lindsey Graham has warned that the rising tensions between the U.S. and Kim Jong-un's corrupt regime means preparations for war need to be taken. The member of the Senate Armed Services Committee warned the U.S. was running out of time to prepare itself for war when speaking on CBS yesterday. He said, I want the Pentagon to stop sending dependents and I think it's now time to start moving American dependents out of South Korea. We're getting close to a military conflict because North Korea is marching toward marrying up the technology of an ICBM with a nuclear weapon on top that can not only get to America, but deliver the weapon. We're running out of time. Fears of war between the two countries hit a new high last week after the rogue state announced they had successfully tested a missile capable of targeting any part of the U.S. equipped with a nuclear weapon. The launch ended over 60 days of silence from North Korea's missile program after regular missile tests paused in September. Not since the Cuban Missile Crisis of the early 60s, when John F. Kennedy was president and we were in the middle of the Cold War with the Soviet Union, have we been so close total global annihilation. U.S. Secretary of Defense James Mattis said in a statement last week that confirmed that the fetus-looking dictator of North Korea. Kim Jong-un has now fired its highest ever intercontinental ballistic missile and it poses a dire worldwide threat. Later the Pentagon confirmed that the missile had flown for about 1,000 kilometers, 620 miles, before falling into the Sea of Japan. After yesterday's missile launch from North Korea the stakes couldn't be higher, especially now that tensions are growing over new information that the missile was the largest and most powerful to date. According to a CNBC report, the latest missile has the capability of hitting the eastern seaboard including Washington, D.C. and needs to be taken seriously. President Trump didn't miss word during his speech on Tuesday where he had just spoken with General Mattis and that they were going to handle the situation in North Korea. Nobody can blame Trump for taking action now as he has exhausted all efforts to steer North Korea away from its nuclear ambitions by applying the strictest possible sanctions against Kim Jong-un's evil empire. He has also had China and Russia apply pressure as well, but Kim Jong-un continues unfaced. The only thing that has changed in North Korea is that their people are suffering. With no electricity and very little food, 
the North Korean people can only hope that something changes soon. According to President Trump, the time for restraint seems to be over, and this isn't a president that messes around. As Syria saw earlier this year when Trump rained cruise missiles down on an airstrip where chemical weapons were launched from. The world is watching, we all know for certain Trump won't stand by and hope Kim Jong-un doesn't launch a nuclear warhead, as Obama and other leaders have done in the past. As President Trump finished his speech yesterday with a smile on his face and General Mattis at his side, it was as if he had just said, hold my beer. Beer.